Hi, my name's Jack Rogers. Welcome to the firmware upgrade for the Phantom 3 and the Inspire 1. I'm um, doing this together because they are exactly the same procedures of doing the firmware upgrade. I've checked the DJI's website on the ins installation instructions and I've checked the Inspire. They're, they're identical, basically. Because all in theory, if you look at this, I mean, I mean, the more information I'm getting now and seeing a lot of things at the moment, the, ins the Inspire's it is basically, well in theory, the, the Phantom 3 is a mini version of the Inspire because they've taken all the Lightbridge technology from the um, the Inspire and shoved it straight into the Phantom 3. But the Lightbridge upgrade is exactly the same. So I wouldn't use the Inspire firm upgrade on the Phantom 3 and I wouldn't use the Phantom 3 upgrade uh, on the Inspire because I think there will be uh, some differences between the conversion of changing it over basically. So there may be some extra bits and pieces put into Lightbridge on the Phantom 3 that's quite unique for the Phantom 3 um, compared to the Inspire. So I wouldn't even try that or attempt to try that at all. But the, ins the installation structure is exactly the same basically. Now I can compare it light for light, word for word, and they're identical. So I'd rather than me do two videos for the Phantom, one for the Phantom 3, one for the Inspire 4, bone these together because they are exactly the same procedure. So for the Inspire, go to the, go to download the area on the DJI website and download the file and I mean the Phantom 3 gun support, which we'll show you how to do that in a sec on uh, coming up in a sec. But I want you to make sure you've got your remote controller fully charged up ready and make sure you've got a full charge battery for your Inspire or your Phantom 3. So make sure they're fully charged up. Take your SD card from your gimbal, whether it's Inspire and the Phantom 3, so you need your SD card. And you're also going to need a memory stick. Okay, uh, four gig plus, because it doesn't need to be very big, just a USB memory stick, just a very straightforward USB memory stick, nothing fancy, because you're gonna need to load the firmware on this and the firmware on the SD card. And the reason being is the SD card will, will upgrade your firmware on the Inspire, and the USB stick will upgrade the software on your uh, controller. So just, just recap very quickly, they are more or less identical basically. The remote control on the Inspire is more or less identical to the Phantom 3. It, it carries Lightbridge, so in theory um, it's a similar, same instructions. So the only way to upgrade the software and the controller stuff on here is through a memory stick. And then obviously how to upgrade the firmware on your Inspire or your Phantom 3 is through the SD card. Very simple, easy to do. So what we're going to do is we are going to pop to the pop to the Mac now and we're going to um, download the firmware. So I'm going to show you how to prepare your USB and how to pair your SD card for the firmware to be loaded onto it and uh, obviously show the correct areas you need to download um, whatever version you've got, the Phantom 3 or the Inspire, okay? So let's get on with that. Uh, just, just, just just, to keep in mind, um, the Phantom 3 and the Inspire uh, doing the firmware upgrade is exactly the same procedures. I've read the um, documentation now, exactly the same. So. Right, so just download the correct version. So this is how you download your version that you need. So if you're a Phantom 3 owner, you need to go to support. Scroll down to where it says Phantom 3 downloads. Here we go, click on it. And then here is obviously shows you the, the, the two firmware. So if you've got a professional, Phantom 3 professional, then download version 1.16 zip file. If you've got Phantom 3 advanced, then same same version zip file. I've got a fit in there actually the exactly the same files. So you download those. If you're on Inspire, then what you need to do is go to support, scroll down to Inspire, download, and download the Inspire zip file. Uh, I had a bit of issue uh, just a few minutes ago to download this. So obviously there's a big call for, um, I think the firmware release for Phantom 3 because their servers have been killed at the moment. I keep getting timed out. But lucky enough, I've got them downloaded. So, because this is a combined firmware upgrade, as I said before, it's uh, I'm doing the firmware for the Phantom 3 and the Inspire 1. So for me, I'm actually doing the Inspire 1, but it's exactly the same download procedures. So, if, um, and this is how you do it. Okay, so once you download your file, uh, unzip it. On a Mac, it'll be already unzipped. So this is the Phantom Professional, and this is the Phantom Advance, okay? So the firmware bin numbers are identical, and I've got a feeling they are exactly the same firmware. But obviously they could be two different, two different bits. Um, so, well, maybe one of them contains the camera updates because the cameras are different on the uh, the advanced. So make sure you download the right version. So for the Phantom 3, what you need to do is uh, open up your SD card. Okay. 
make sure they're formatted or, or they're blank like as you see here and what you need to do is copy the firmware bin just the bin the, the bin file here copy it over so for me I'll just drag it over so whatever version of the Phantom 3 you've got copy that file to your SD card and once it's done go to the USB stick again make sure it's um, completely empty so it's empty and you do the same drag the, f the file or the version that's for your Phantom 3 or the Inspire and drop it down onto the card okay so and what I'll do is just to confirm I'll update your firmware and we'll just quickly have a nose on the PDF file just to show you it is exactly the same and I don't think it's going to stand because I think it's still got a server issue because obviously it's hanging so obviously it's tight I'm not going to be able to show you anyway but trust me it's the same one so for me I, I'm not having the um, because I'm also not doing the phantom um, update so I'm going to quickly delete these off because obviously I've got, I'm doing it this for the Inspire so I can just show you guys so for me I just need to open my Inspire folder same thing again is take the bin file drop it onto my SD card and my USB stick so, so that in theory on my USB card that's the only file on that card or the memory stick that's all you need to know okay do the same with that as well oh yeah got the upgrade file here so we can compare them so that's inspire and this is the phantom 3 so if we look, look uh, open up the PDF file how to, how to update so this is the uh, phantom 3 update and this is the um, uh, for inspire so here you can see the download position is exactly the same uh, so first of all check SD cards, uh, make sure you've got the right size, blah blah blah. Download the firmware update package for the DJI website which we've just done. Insert the SD card into your PC, so they're, they're up to step two, same thing. Step three, ensure the remote controller is powered off and then power on your aircraft. Upgrade will begin automatically. So the, does that actually tell you, oh, insert SD card, extract, yeah, go extract and download into the root directory, that's what we just literally did, did. And as you can see, steps one, step two, and step three are identical from the Inspire or the Phantom 3 as you said is they're identical okay so the only difference is, is the actual download file that's, that's different okay so what we're going to do next is we're going to actually now do the step three where we insert the SD card uh, into the, the um, Inspire or the Phantom 3 and run, run through so just be aware, bear, be very aware of this because when you do the upgrade um, you've got to make sure you, when you start it can take uh, You've got to have patience because it will take a while to do it. I mean, my, my you can take they recommend like for the Inspire, uh, it'll take like twenty five minutes basically to do the uh, do the have the complete firm upgrade done. And I don't, there you go. Step three is exactly the same as step three on the Phantom. Give it a good twenty five minutes. Literally, just put the card in, power it up, leave it be. Okay, and just go off and do something. Okay, it might take ten minutes, but it doesn't harm it if it's just stuck in there. Because once it's finished, it'll just um, go into um, just uh, it'll just ask to do a full re power recycle. So I will just leave it because a lot of people have come back to me when on the Inspire saying, "How do I know it's updated?" You'll know when it's updated because what it does, it creates a file on your SD card. Um, so at the moment, if you look at the SD card um, and USB stick. You, you know all, all contains on there, it's just your bin file. So when it's completed and you've given it a good 20, 25 minutes, um, when you put these back into your Mac or PC, you should have a new text file created on each of the stick, that, which that gives you, it's a bit of like a log thing to say it went through. Open it up and in there you should then be able to read it and say successful. We'll come back to that because we'll show you how that works. So make sure you download the correct version onto the SD card on both of those because we're going to do the um, quad itself and we're also going to do the remote control so straightforward nice and easy again make sure you download the correct version for your Phantom Motors Advance uh, whether it's the professional and if it's if you're doing it for the Inspire um, obviously the Inspire only got one file anyway so download that so do not download the Phantom 3 firmware upgrade for the Inspire or the Inspire to run on the Phantom 3 because they are different and I'm hoping if DJI's got it right, it'll probably ignore the Inspire bin file if you accidentally copied the wrong one on it or not watch this video correctly and uh, not pay attention. So make sure you're fully awake, have a nice cup of coffee, and be alerted because obviously you don't want to mess this up. All right, so there we go. That's how to copy it onto the SD card. Very straightforward, very simple. 
Now let's put the SD card and USB stick into the quad and let's get the upgrade going. Right now we've downloaded the uh, correct version of the firmware where it's the Phantom 3 or the Inspire on your SD card and same again for your USB stick. So the USB sticks for the remote controller, the SD card for the actual uh, quad itself. So um, further ado, so again I've just emphasised this is the update for Phantom 3 and the Inspire because they're exactly the same procedures of actually doing the install hence why I want to combine this video together it's pointless doing that exactly the same thing and showing different things I thought just to combine it together so exactly the same so make sure you've got the correct version so I'm doing the Inspire one for today so you guys out there that are Phantom 3 you're doing the Phantom 3 so make sure you've got the correct version so it's a pro or advanced so you download it on the memory stick so first of all we're going to do the remote control update and then we'll do the quad update so here we go Right, so take memory stick and we need to put it in the back of the USB port. It's the same USB port you'll use to plug your tablet into. So uh, if you off the Phantom 3, you won't have any other choice apart from that port. Um, so we'll plug that straight in. So it's all plugged in there. And all you need to do then is make sure your quad is off. So it doesn't, that doesn't have to be on. So just we'll just focus on the remote controller. So turn it off if it's on, don't need it on yet. Okay, so we then power up um, the remote um, <laughs> sorry, I'll do it in a sec. Get it right. And hold down, power it up, and then it should start booting off the USB card. And I think and you just have to wait because it does something in a sec. There you go, it's accessing the card now. It takes a couple of minutes. And, it's read and you can see it's reading the card because the uh, red light at the back is going. And that's the sound you want to hear. That's the sound for it upgrading. So as long as you've got those bleeps, bleep, 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 then you know it's upgrading. Just wait, wait till it finishes. So this, this could take 10 minutes, could take 25 minutes, I will just leave it. So hopefully, I know this before when I've done it, it's been quite quick. So I hope we won't have to wait too long. The long clean, bleep, 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 it's, it's fine. There you go. It's now finished because the bleeps have stopped. And it's starting again. I'm going to just leave it. I think this does it several times. Right, now it's finished. What should happen now, you should get a green light on your remote control here and that basically shows you it's successful on patching it up. So what you then do is turn the remote controller off so remember, just leave it bleep bleep bleeping at you and just go away and come back and it will just literally go green once it's, it's finished. So obviously it wasn't very long we had to wait. Um, I did I did stop the video and start it again because I thought I, it can take a long time but I, I, can't, I did it before and I can't remember how long it was. I think I just went off and did something and came back again. So um, the, so you at least know the indication of what, what happens afterwards when it's completed. So now it's powered off. Take the USB stick out. That's the remote control done. And to make sure it's all okay, we'll power it back on again and she should just be up as normal. There should be any funny noises or anything like that, that should be fine. So far as I'm concerned, that is fully done, successful. Right, so power that off. So make sure the remote control is off now because we're gonna move on to the next part. So make sure it's all powered off because you don't need that on because that's now completed. And now we move over to the Inspire. And if, if you guys out there that's using Phantom, so get your Phantom in front of you, Make sure, again, make sure, get your SD card, put your SD card into your gimbal, like I've done here. Okay, so it's in, it's in my gimbal, all ready to roll. And just turn it around. And now we'll power, power up. That's all you need to do is power up. Same with the Phantom, power it on. It runs through its normal thing, and it should start reading the update, and it should go into, once it's booted, make some noises. There you go, I assume that's going on. Doesn't really show you much of a sign of it's actually going on, but, um, I will just leave this now. 
And I think the flashing light may be a good indication. Again, it's something I've done before, because when I first got my Inspire, I had to firmware, firmware upgrade it straight away. Um, same with you, uh, Phantom 3, probably similar the same. It, to be honest, you actually get in the same symptoms as the Inspire. So as soon as you've got it, you've had to do the upgrade with. And it seems the same with the Inspire when I first got it, I had to do the upgrade with. So it's very much, but again, remember, going through all this now and looking at all the procedures, it's the, the light bridge is the same in the Inspire as it is in the Phantom, all right? So uh, there may be slight variations because of the camera gimbal and obviously the motors and stuff, um, but everything else is very, it sounds like and looks very much like similar to the Inspire. So especially the upgrading the procedure, it's exactly the same. So my well, lights have stopped flickering now and uh, they've gone off, which is normal. I'm not sure how long this is going to be, so I might I might not sit here with the video and go through it because I'll sit here for like 20 minutes of video watching exactly what you should be seeing. So I'm just going to pause the video for a moment and we'll come back to it in a sec and I'll be able to show you what it would look like after. Yeah. While we're waiting for the update to finish, uh, I thought I'd go through. There's another new t-shirt I've got from um, Help the Heroes. Nice. Um, so if you like that, get your hands on Help the Heroes t-shirt. Go and find your local shop or order online. Help the Heroes t-shirt. Um, I haven't got a contract with them to say I have to sell these. It's just like they're really in a comfy t shirt. It's got some nice designs on them. And it's brilliant, you know. So uh, I thought I'd show it off. Um, a, a couple of you guys have actually pointed these out. But I have ordered, uh, you sit on my site, on my Facebook site, uh, on my um, website, um, Phantom t shirts. Uh, a guy's actually had a, a kickstart project where he was printing these Phantom t shirts. I think it read something like uh, DJI Pilots. Uh, F uh, Phantom and uh, really nicely done. It's got a little picture of the, f the Phantom on it and stuff. And uh, he had a Kickstarter project where he had to like sell X amount before he can actually get them printed and shipped. And he's successfully done that with your help guys out there. Thanks very much. So you guys purchased the t-shirt brilliantly. I think they're a limited edition, so um, they're not going to be. I think they're they're off now, so they're going to be printed. I've I'll ordered two, two for myself. Um, I, I was going to order various different sizes, but I'm going to speak to him because he's he's part of my channel now. And he's been in contact with me, so I'm going to actually might ask him if he can do me a few extras and we'll give him away in competition. So if you guys like to win a nice DJI Phantom uh, shirt, um, please comment below and I'd like to know various sizes. So just comment below and say, oh, I want a Phantom t-shirt and uh, my size is. So either like small, medium, large or extra large or extra, extra large. I know you're doing quite up to various sizes anyway. So if I get enough for it, then I can probably ask him saying, would you print a few extra more for us? And you can do it as competition for you guys anyway. So this is still carrying on, so I'm not going to chat on very much. I'm just going to stop this video, wait till it finishes, and I can then show you after it. And then the next stage, we'll take the SD cards back onto the Mac, and then we'll show you um, what files are created on the Mac to show you whether, it, whether these updates were successful or not. Then you guys know exactly where it's applied. All right, so let's let's finish off. <clears throat> well, I think this is all done now, because the, it's, it's the sound in the bleeps, though. So um, I think the Phantom 3 is similar the same. It goes bleep, pause, bleep, bleep. I don't know if you can hear it. It goes beep, then it pauses, and it's bleep, bleep. That basically means the firmware is actually... Right, put your SD card and your USB start, plug it back in, and uh, let's have a look on the um, SD card first. And these are the files in the bin file, and this is this text file. This is the important part you need to know, because this will tell you whether you had a, a proper update that's completely successful. So you double click on the text file, and it's, you're only interested in this bottom part. I mean, this is just like the log file procedure goes through. So uh, it shows that it's like the upgrading and the result was successful. So that basically says it's completed and it's all done. If it's failed, then you need to take the SD card, put it back into the Phantom 3 or the Inspire, whichever one uh, you're, you've got, and you rerun the, the um, update again. And then uh, once it's finished, uh, bring it back and check it and see if it's success, uh, successful. So once you've got a successful on the text thing, that's the uh, firmware update done on the quad itself. Go onto USB port, uh, sorry, USB stick, which then you've got two text files here. So on the first one you go on here, you've got the three different jobs and each one successful. So that's perfect. And then go into the other text file, which then uh, shows you done the upgrading and again the result successful. Again, if it shows fail, plug USB back into your um, uh, remote controller and you just carry the procedure on again and as soon as you get your green light to say it's all done bring it back up here again and check again as soon as you get a successful on there it will that's basically says your firmware is perfect went on 
So always remember guys um, to remove your firmware and, and clear the cards off because you don't want to put it back into your uh, Phantom or your Inspire and it starts running the upgrade again. So make sure you delete the files off as I'm doing here. So remove those off the cards, remove everything off the cards. Don't worry if you move the folder off because when it puts it back into the Inspire or the Phantom it will recreate the subfolders it needs anyway, it does it all the time. So that's deleted then you can safely put the SD card back into your Phantom or Inspire. The, I've noticed on the Phantom website it doesn't actually give you any release notes, so you don't, so it doesn't, so I can't see what the firmware uh, involves on updating what it's actually patching. But in the Inspire one, um, you can look at the release notes online, and also it's also copied on the card when you download the firmware. Uh, what's actually included in here? So in here, it's got about 17 things that it's included. Um, very briefly, it fixes the problem of the ATTP bit, solves issues of gimbal drift, and also adds in the altitude for the legs to go up and down basically. Uh, no fly zone updates, uh, it's got um, an optimizer for return home, so you can control on the return home um, the left and right or up and down, so you can actually avoid anything it may look like it's going to crash into. That's good to know because normally a return home doesn't give you any sort of control over it all so again this is available on the website so it's worth actually lo looking at this or looking at the SD card before deleting the files off to look at the release notes you can actually see what's involved in the update on there but unfortunately looking on the uh, DJI's website as we're looking here so if we just quickly go back see if they've released anything recently uh, go on to the um, Phantom 3 downloads uh, it shows on here just shows you start guide use guide manual in the box, flight safety guidelines. No, there's no release notes on here, so we don't know exactly what this firmware actually entails. And I have checked on the um, zip files; it doesn't actually include that either in there. So I'm not sure exactly what they're updating here anyway. But um, but they normally will release a release file anyway. So if you guys have problems actually putting this on an SD card, if you're not very computer literate and you're not quite sure about this, I'm happy to use TeamViewer software that allows me to remote control onto your PC with your permission. And I'm happy to do that free of charge for you guys and uh, sort it out. I've done that previous in the past with uh, subscribers, helped them out and stuff. If you've got problems with your app or your PC app or anything like that, not sure how to install the Phantom software or the Inspire software or, or, or whatever, whatever the software you, you're trying to achieve or do, let me know. I'm happy to do that. Obviously, guys, if you, if you donate some money towards my channel, which helps towards it all, uh, completely up to you if you want to t do that or not and I'll be happy to sort of s support you guys best to my ability uh, on um, doing this for you because I know some people out there do get a bit stuck with what uh, what this involves especially if you've got a Phantom 2 Plus you have to install the actual uh, software on and some people have been stuck with, with the USB drivers and stuff I'm happy to do that and obviously we've donated a little bit little bit towards it helps my channel keep it going because obviously I want to build this channel now and build out something really good and keep supporting the Phantom users out there as well as like doing all sorts of different projects. Got lots of stuff in the pipeline coming up anyway. Remember, guys, uh, I've ordered actually these t shirts. So I spoke about these are the actual DJI Phantom Pilot t shirts. Uh, it's on a Kickstart project. Obviously, he's now completed it. So, yeah, yeah they're a limited edition. But um, if you want one, um, let me know and comment below with your size or the size you're after, like small, medium, large, extra large, or double, extra large, or triple large. And let me know, and I will then speak to him because he's actually my—he's actually one of my subscribers now, and he's actually commented on about me when I did a promotion to sort of show that he needed a few extra people to complete this up, this Kickstart project, which he did, and I've ordered two coming through because um, I think they're pretty cool, and um, I, it, maybe I could do a competition for you guys to win, or if you want to get your hands on one, I may say to him, can you do re do some reprints because I've got some people interested. So if you are interested in the DJI Phantom Pilot T-shirt, or maybe I can get him to do an Inspire One, please comment below, and I will do my best. So um, I might have some T-shirts coming in the pipeline. So we'll never know. We'll see what happens, or some mugs, or mouse mats. Let's see. Anyway, that's the uh, firmware upgrade for the Phantom Three and the Inspire One. So I hope that was pretty cool. Any problems? Uh, email me below, uh, or email email me directly with um, basically. And uh, but if you're interested in a t-shirt, comment below. And remember to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. And uh, I'll catch you on the next vid. Cheers.